Rahim got done so dirty. Bro got set up to fail. Brought in Rahim's ball. And then the ball was like, nah, 1v1 me. And then he's like, we didn't do this because one of the, you know, the luminaries basically did that. Changed it up so that Hinata has a reason to fight against Rimuru. Why? Because I don't think the luminaries like Hinata at all. I think that Hinata is a, a nuisance. Something annoying that they need to get rid of. And if along the way they can get rid of Hinata and Rimuru, who's obviously a big, you know, um, a block for the luminaries then i think this makes a lot of sense we saw hinata is not stupid she actually feels regret she feels like she needs to apologize but unfortunately because of the setup we're going back for round two but at least i, I enjoyed how they ha handled hinata's you know uh state like that like she's not she is getting manipulated but she's not so dumb and she kind of realizes on the other side hinata kind of has like a wife uh husband though right there's like a person i don't know there's like a guy that was like sending hinata off so i feel like that's like a ship that's kind of cute and basically that's it there's, there's a shitload of you know church stuff going on it was cool to see the paladins and i forget the other side uh fuck there was basically two separate factions there one was kind of like for uh, glazing hinata and the others weren't because he's kind of too young and she rose into power so fast so it's pretty cool to see there now we should right we should get the beauty you know makes her move round two but people are saying it's another yap fest so are you ready for another episode of meetings let's begin today's reaction what is it those approaching group of five all right not the temple knights whoa 30 000 souls we can extract uh communist in your sand a story right now right sorry 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 their goal is to slay the demon who killed the archbishop right because archbishop rayhem has been killed by a demon is kind of what's going on to their narrative and are we then going to pin uh diablo as that so diablo is the demon that killed rahim and diablo is also backing yom that makes sense i feel bad for rahim he actually tried his best Shio, look look you're great but what the fuck have you done this past fucking season bro like sorry this season like come on diablo's out there hustling he's scheming you're just in the corner like <laughs> yeah what are you gonna do Shio? Let, let me let's hear it what plan you got cooked up for us listen i would love to do that too that, that was my first thing I wanted to do. Just fucking kill all the royals and nobles and put our people there. But if we do that, we look bad, right? The whole thing is monsters, you know. We can't be scary monsters. We gotta come in peace. Diablo, <laughs> That's right. You take an L and you move forward. Yes, Diablo. I don't think he fucked up at all. It's just out of his calculations what the Luminaries would have done. Hmm? Oh, Adalman, the guy, the lich. Where is he? Rimuru wasn't there. Basically, Shiki from Skimishi. Let's go, Gabi. Gupta again. The only person that has the balls, the audacity to sleep through Rimuru's exec meeting. They might glaze. Uh, do we have a new challenger? Uh, cause like, Ranga, everybody glazes Rimuru, right? Diablo is definitely number one, but like, fucking <laughs> Adalman, he, <laughs> he is kind of on that like cultist kind of, you know, uh, worship just like Diablo does to Rimuru. Are people scared right now? Are people sweating at the table because of Adarman or because Shuna is making this face? Right. Oh, more plot? Let's go. This is what they think Luminous looks like? Like a traditional like Pope kind of deal? 
They, they don't even have no clue. It's just like a petite vampire. It's cloistered emperor is the god's voice. No, 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 no. This is the representation of the cloistered emperor who is, you know, Valentine. But their identity is unknown. Yeah, they have no clue what's going on with Roy and the brother. Imperial agency. Basically, spread the luminism around. Paladins? Angelic Knights? Temple Knights? Dude, this piano soundtrack in the background with this lore is actually really good. Oh, right, there was the Paladins and the Master Rooks, right? The, the, there was the opposing tables, right? And this is the fucking show that was really fucking annoying. Got it. So uh, there used to be just religion spreading words, but then there was no military force, temple knights, and then later the master rooks. And then when does the paladin show up? Then we got crusaders, which are just like fucking foot soldiers. Yeah. Seven luminaries, the floating old GGs. Where do they show up from? Were they always around? Were they always fucking around? Because, like, Adelman's lore, it's going chronologically, but, like, it just sounds like they just fucking showed up and just said, nah, we just taken over. <laughs> then the luminaries <laughs> pretty much corrupted everything. Crusaders <laughs> fell. Last episode, they were called them paladins, but then again, it wasn't really paladin. It was the subtitles were paladin, right, above it. Kind of like a title description, so probably just Master Rooks and the Crusaders. I think that's a better distinction of it. You motherfuckers stop counting how many times I'm pausing. I'm at like 15 or some shit. Where, where is it? This is the state of humans evolve into after overcoming many rigorous trials. Oh, basically what Hinata had to go through. Enlightened. Similar to the Demon Lord factor, this is kind of like the human's equivalent of that. Their next level in like, is this evolution? I don't know. Anyways, humans can become enlightened by going through rigorous trials. Three battle sages. Are they the battle sages? Valdra doesn't give a fuck. Valdra's nipples are hidden. Wagakami, my god. Wait, what? You want to what? <laughs> As a former carnal, allow me to remonstrate with this with Hinata, this Hinata woman. I'm kind of scared, Adelman. What are you going to do to Hinata, bro? I don't think she would listen that easily. You have no idea. No, fuck you, Shio. No, no, Diablo knows. <laughs> Shio just like... Oh, 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 yeah, I know, yeah. Diablo, explain it for me. <laughs> Ain't no way Shio knows. Finally? <gasps> it's true enough to kind of convince him. So easy to control him, actually. Gopta, let's go! Yo, what the fuck? Tahiti? Who, who are they? Uh, they new, new Kijin? Nah, nah, ka, Kijin kind of faction. I don't know when we got the Kudanai, but sure. Let's go, Gabiru. You're going in, Gopta. Is that Gopta kind of showing his insecurity of like, damn, I'm allowed to do that? Is he thinking that, shit, I don't really know? The Kudanai evolved from goblins. Really? Goblins that evolved into ogre. That's a very interesting. I mean, that's not very. We were watching remaster. They did do that, but like here, I I didn't really know. I thought ogres were always ogres. Anyways, Kuda and I, we know that. Got it. Got it. What god is he? Gopta gets to ride Ranga now. Really? Shion did? I find that hard to believe. Fuck it. Does anyone else want to become a true demon lord here? Does anyone have a demon lord seed? Bro, we got 30,000 souls that we can extract. I feel like it's going to be a waste. What? No. Fuck this pacifist shit. Waver the remaining dead. We can avoid war. 
I guess that is one way to prevent tragedy and look good and be benevolent of like, oh, yeah, we got all this debt that you still owe us, but fine, you guys get bailed out. And I, I, ugh, ugh. <laughs> Shion is correct. Uwaga-o. <laughs> Really? Diablo will take out one of the seven luminaries? I mean, if he's saying this in front of Rimuru, he has to do it. We just talked about his failure about, you know, you take an L, you gotta move forward. So Diablo will actually go and find a luminary? Yo, that's gonna be insane. That's hype. I, tr I trust him. He will do this. Gentle interrogation. Are they treating this as training? Oh, you don't have to do anything. Yeah, you don't have to. <laughs> she don't, you definitely don't fucking have to. <laughs> She's always trying to figure out, like, when can she, you know, add some lines here and there. She's like, oh, oh, oh I got, I, I think everything's settled. Let's go! You. You will, Rimuru. Oh. 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 oh, it's fucking... <laughs> It's Leon Cromwell from Walmart. Dude, I just can't fucking believe that. He just fucking looks like that. It's a Rayon Wellcrom. Okay. Nani? Raphael just got destroyed the ultimate skill and maybe one could say that because Raphael gained sentience after evolving from Great Sage that if this was Great Sage she would not have taken this seriously because Great Sage is not sentient enough to take it personally but Raphael does so technically Technically, you could say that Great Sage is better in that regard. What do you got, Veldra? No. No, you can't just do that. I mean, I, I would love to. I want to see it. You you want to do Dragon Breath? Like, accident. <laughs> Oops, accident. Yeah, we just barbecue her. <laughs> We're definitely going to fight and then we'll talk. No killing holy knights? Come on! Yeah? Yeah? <laughs> but I, I, I would argue sometimes that's like a fate worse than death. Like what you did to Raheem, you know, Ramen and the king. You really enjoyed that, huh? Sure, Shion. Shion got it. Was she got it? That's her new faction, right? We would be that outmatched? Let's go! Gobzo in the fucking middle, bro! Gobzo... <laughs> She, he loves Shion too, cause boing. She hopes will like him curvy. <laughs> Anyways, Yomi Ageri members have extra skills, complete memory, and self recreation, which allows them to do what? Okay. I'm not sure what complete memory does, but self regen just sounds like they can just regen. So it's gonna be their weaklings. So, so their weakness could actually be bait the whole nice into complacency. And even though we are outmatched in whatever ranking, we're like C grade, they just can't die. It's fine. <laughs> so Gobuso just gonna keep getting tortured over and over? Who are you? Kurunai's leader Gobwa. Now, hold on a fucking second. One second. You know who this reminds me of? 
who else is another blue haired girl whose name ends with wa and has a similar hairstyle like this well not complete similar her hair looks like that one girl from re-zero one of the blue haired maids cool to see more new sorry not, they are new characters right ソエ。リガル。They're really hyping up this enlightened beings, man. They better be strong. Where is this new ranks coming from? I know of like threats of like calamity, catastrophe tier, like you know, threats, but like like these new rankings, like this is new to me. I'm not really familiar with this ranking system. Maybe any news will tell us. Oh. Yeah, Rigor, why isn't he going in? Yeah, these three are kind of left out without a job. Oh, what's going on, Sophia Albus? Poor, poor girls, they just busted. Oh, are you allowed to do this? Oh. Yeah, they're honorary members, yeah. Good, Phobio is here. Fuck Phobio. Also, yeah, is it Benny and, you know, Albus? They got something going on? Okay, okay, so, so, while we should not be killing, if it comes down to it, you have permission to annihilate your opponent. Good, good, good. I won't kill them all! Huh. Uh, church side? What is this? Oh! This is the sussy sea from the trailer! I was like, that better be a fucking vampire lolly, bro. What the fuck is going on, bro? Okay, okay, okay. What is going on? In the trailer, they were having a toast with, like, wine or blood. What is it? They haven't figured out what we're doing. This is, uh, fuck, what was her name? Glenda or some shit? Mm. That witch. Kinata? So Glenda right now is with a different group of people and they're kind of betraying Kinata right now? What group is this? Dumb brother. Easter Merchant! <laughs> finally, 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 we get the Eastern Merchant. Well, merchants, there's plural. It's a group, right? So this is Dumb Rada. I don't know if this is the guy that got the message from Yuki and then tipped off Hinata, but he's part of that group. Eastern Merchants. My Good venerable Granville. Old guy with the lolly on his lap. Okay, they just want to profit off of war. What empire? The fucking Luminary Empire? Or is there a separate empire that the group belongs to them? <laughs> Eastern Empire? Head of the Rozo family, Granville Rozo. And on the left is just Maribel. Maribel, who the f- Maribel, what's going on? Why are you sitting on his lap like that? Better be your fucking dad or granddad. All right, so they want to take out Hinata. Glenda is betraying Hinata. Eastern merchants are involved. Eastern Empire. Totally separate group that I never even imagined. In the trailer, I thought that, um, that these were the vampires. I, sorry, they are the vampires. But I thought that these were like the church people, like Hinata squad. But no, it's like separate. Ain't no way you can take out Veldora. True. Five great elders from Granville side, which I assume are the people, the boomers around this fucking table right now. Seven luminaries, five great elders, ten fucking states. There's too many 
many of these number plus groups? I'm... I want to see more of what this empire is, though. These merchants are fucking hype. Is that a gun?! Glen no, no, Glenda was strapped last episode. No, 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 Glenda did have something strapped on her thigh. <laughs> she did have a gun. But a gun back in this day? Because... How would they have the engineering to come up with the gun? The science behind it. Um, other isekai characters and their knowledge of modern world weaponry got leaked. Eastern merchants understood that and they're spreading. Because like, we've never seen actual people use guns here, right? So it's probably one of the isekai characters or summons or something, right? That the Eastern merchants kind of got the... I don't know. It's probably spread that way. Glenda Armpit. If they didn't know what that was, then they would never know a threat of a gun, right? If you just bring out the fucking thing and point at somebody, like, no one's gonna know what the fuck it does. They're gonna like, what are you gonna do? What is that thing? They're just scared of Rimuru taking over. Merchants wants to make sure that their trade routes are secured. Got it, got it. That's what the reason why they're mad. That's not gonna go the way you think. Diablo versus the merchants of the East, dude. Oh, uh, the demon behind the scenes. You really think you can take out Diablo? <laughs> Just fucking try it. No way. We're not losing round two. How do you know? This guy acts respect slime. So far, a lot of people just immediately disrespect Rimuru because he's a slime. One of the few people that completely acknowledges the potential of Rimuru. Alright, time to have a toast. You know, the wine. The fucking blood. What is it? Cerberus? So, more plot right here, right? They are the secret society that rules the underworld in the east other than for the Cerberus. So there's basically two factions, right? There's Cerberus group. We don't know them, but we also know that the eastern merchants are kind of running shit from the shadows. Cerberus? Hmm. Kerberos, sorry. Not Cerberus. Kerberos. And he is one of their leaders. Damrata of gold, the merchants. They know of Diablo? It's not an arc demon. This guy is a fucking schemer. Who is Kerberos? It's not an actual three-headed dog, right? What would compel Glenda to sell out her own people and face with these guys? Because, well, I think it's actually obvious. It's just simple as, you know. I want to change the meta. I'm tired of, you know, serving in this council in, as a fucking Master Rook or Paladin. So fuck it. Let's just, uh, just, uh, join the, uh, five elders and take them out and we can fucking rule even stronger. Damrata is one of the leaders of Cer Keribiris? Oh, I thought Keribiris and the Eastern Merchants were separate things. I thought the dialogue there was like, uh, the people that run the underground is basically the Eastern Merchants. As well as Kerberos, but okay. Sare and Gregory. I've had Blood Shadow conduct maneuvers. I don't know what the fuck a Blood Shadow is. To get Sare and Grigori to take action. Okay. Kerberos is a different organization, right? I'm correct on that, right? I think they are the other... Sare was the short Shoda. Yeah, Sare was the Shoda. Grigori, right hand of Hinata? Got it, got it, got it. So, Glenda does this for the Rotso family and her freedom. Glenda's a very interesting character. What is going on? Kerberos is not a... You guys are... You chat, you guys are gonna get fucking roasted in the YouTube comment section. So many times, actual light novel readers that are straight up nerds will roast my chat saying, you motherfucker just spread fake information, bro. Anyways, I'm just gonna go thinking Kerberos and, you know, fucking... Eastern merchants, they're separate groups, but maybe they're the same, I don't fucking know. Oh, jeez, Sama. Is she the end boss of this? Mariamera. Okay. The fuck? 
Maria Bell, why is she so smart? What the fuck? I, uh, what the, I, what? This is no common lolly, man. She's too smart for this. In the garden? Wait, under is drinking. Oh, cancel Tensura, bro. Cancel Tensura. I can't believe they're doing underage drinking unless it's blood and they're vampires. They had a bottle of wine. It's, is it? I, I, I. She fucking starts the toast, bro. She does the fucking toast. It's as if she's the true boss of this group. What the fuck? The five elders. Rotso family. Uh, secret faction? That kind of works with Glenda and other stuff. And the Eastern merchants? Interesting. Interesting. They didn't fucking drink the blood. So I don't think this is confirmed that they're vampires, right? I'm not sure if they're com confirmed vampires or not. Because they didn't drink it. And I don't know if that's wine or blood. I just thought that they could have been vampires. But anyways, that's the episode, bro. Another fucking yap session. But Tensor Yap Sessions. I'm actually so intrigued by Tensor Yap Fashions. So the important plus stuff, I guess, is... um. Oh, there's just so many. I don't like what, what is the really, really important stuff other than us organizing where each faction is going to go, each group's going to handle this, but Rimuru is going to be handling Hinata and our boys are going to be handling other stuff. One of the things that I'm really hyped about is uh, Diablo. Diablo taking out the luminaries. I don't know. And the fact that the Rotso family is saying we're going to take out the demon that's involved in, you know, families and stuff like that, which is Diablo. Like, man, like, try it. Fucking try it. I'm looking for a reason to have Diablo get in there and fuck shit up. So this is going to be great. On the other side, um, there's some introduction of new characters and new groups. Not really new groups. Basically groups that I forgot about because of my shitty memory. And the Rotso family, this is probably the most enticing part of the episode. A completely different organization that I had no idea about that is colluding with the Eastern Merchants and a member of the fucking the Luminaries. That, I mean, it's not the Luminaries, but, you know, the church people glenda either a master rook or a paladin so so far it just seems like they are running they're the true puppet masters behind the scenes there's like the eastern empire eastern merchants underground dealings Kerberos, which could be also the eastern merchants i'm not really sure they did say he is damaras the gold of Kerberos. i don't know and then the existence of guns too which implies that isekai characters have leaked the knowledge of modern warfare here so that's kind of crazy right that's kind of fucking crazy and then I, we don't really know much about them. They're just having this whole scheme fest session. And it looks like Mariabel is a great, like a granddaughter. Because, you know, she calls, you know, this guy grandfather. Yet she's so smart and cunning. And she leads the toast. The Rotso family. I would love to get to know more about them. But I can't just yet because it'd be spoiling stuff. I just want to know the significance of this lolly granddaughter. How she's so fucking smart. Are they vampires? Are they just drinking wine? I'm not really sure. But that's it from me. If you're still here. If you didn't enjoy this reaction. Please like the video. Check out the other playlist for more content. And until next time. Take care.